You're still watching Waze. Now, World War II D-Day invasion happened on this historic day in 1944, where Allied troops invaded the beaches of Normandy, France, and it was the largest amphibious assault in the world's history. This massive, bloody battle was the turning point of the World War in the European theater. On this day, 156,000 troops from the United States, Great Britain, and Canada stormed five beaches. The American troops landed on Omaha and Utah Beach. At the same time, the British troops landed on Gold and Sword Beach, while the Canadian forces landed on Juno Beach. 4,000 Allied troops died on these beaches on D-Day. History. <clears throat> Right, history. There is an argument that um, this particular world war was the one that put America in the map as world superpower because of their intervention, um, the British, the timely British intervention. Uh, you know. So I thought um, it was the one with um, Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Yeah. This isn't it. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. I mixed up my information. Oh. It happens. I need to sleep. <laughs> we I need to sleep. <laughs> oh, dear. What were you doing? Oh, my bad. Oh, oh, my. That, 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 I was working. Mm -hmm. That's a mix-up, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so who is going to go first? Sansi, what did you find first in the news? All right, today? so in the news, uh, on June the 1st, that was, I think, on Monday, we received the sad news that uh, Majek Fashek, if you don't know him, remember the song, Mama, 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 yo, send down the rain. Well, uh, the recent generation don't might know, not know him. him. Yeah. yeah, might. So, um, oh, th there he is on the screen. So we lost him. Sadly, he's a legend, and he died in New York City on June 1st. Now, developing story, his family is crying out to the society to raise funds because they need to fly him back um, to Nigeria to bury him in a grand style. According to their words, he is a legend and so does not deserve an ordinary burial. So they are crying out for GoFundMe, you know, for people to um, donate it. money so they can fly him back. And of course, flying him back is going to be a lot more expensive considering the current situation, COVID-19 and all that. And so yeah, it's bringing the cops back from um, mm. abroad. It's more expensive than you going with your two legs. So well, the, yeah. Well, the thing is, people are not taking this so well. They're like, why do you have to pay? Tansy, why would you take it well? Mm. I was waiting for you to land. Why? <laughs> no, because it's actually ridiculous. You know, this is something that is very close to my heart because I see this thing happen over and over again. Like, mm. can we draw the line where we would need to stop this madness in terms of culture? It does not make any sense. Somebody has died, bury the person. If you're raising funds to say, okay, maybe mm. his children that are alive and That's all of valid. that, you yes. want to maybe raise funds for them to be able to maybe go to school or mm. something or sustain the family that he's left behind. It makes absolutely um, um, great sense, sense to me. But you want to raise money to bring a dead body you know, to Nigeria. I don't know how this thing plays out. A lot of us do it. Everybody, most people do it. And I think it is wrong. It is wrong because sometimes this person might be alive, no, no, no uh, form of support. You're not feeding the person. The person is sick. You're not checking up on the person. Then you now wait for a burial to now use mm. it as an opportunity to stop money. It makes no sense to me. I, I, I'm trying so hard to wrap my head around why people do this. I still cannot find that reason. I will, say, oh, no, I'm have going to, come to back say home. something that's going to upset you, upset you some more because um, culture is. You know, culture. you're a culture person. I am. We won't start this battle today. Yes. Continue. Culture is culture. <laughs> yeah. Believe it or not. If you've, if you've gone to the village and you see how things are being done in the village, it is totally different from how we perceive it here. Mm. So if they say, okay, bring him back, they have their reasons for asking them to bring him back, not about hey, so the legend. So if they have their um, reasons, they, they should use their money to bring him back. But, you, but most of the people that come you know, for the funeral, that will go for any funeral mm. in the village, you see, half of them, they I'm don't happy even that know you the are, person. You are not on the same page with me on this topic because we're <laughs> going to bring back burial topic. And I will make sure All that right. you set that. No problem. It makes no sense. No problem. What's your story? It makes <laughs> okay, no sense. my story. My story goes thus that um, uh, Excellency Mrs. Joke um, Samuel Lu, mm -hmm. the wife of the governor of the state, um, alongside with Mrs. Remy um, Hamzat, the deputy governor's wife, has decided to make a stand on rape. And I think it's applaudable. In her own words, she said, for us in Lagos State, we have zero tolerance for rape because it is nothing but a bestial act. And I think it's totally 
Um, I'm so happy. Yes, yeah. it's just, happy. just it's made a stand. When you see public figures. We said that. We yeah. said exactly. that. Exactly. And I mean, more people need to keep coming out. Exactly. You know, more people need to keep coming out. I think I'll just quickly tie my story, you know, to, to what you said. First of all, an update on Uwa. Mm -hmm. I hear two guys have been arrested. Fabulous. So I'm happy that you know they're making arrest. And um, the young girl in um, is it Barakat or something in the the, in the hijab girl? Okay. I, I'm not sure what the, the one in Ibadan. Yes, on her case it, I think. is and all that. But my story today, you remember we saw a video, a very very repulsive video mm -hmm. of a young man um, French kissing a, a three year old girl. You know, serious kissing. He was mm -hmm. kissing her, and in the name of play, he was kissing her and caressing her so much. And I am so happy because social media kept on retweeting. tagging, retweeting, and all of that. And now we hear that this young boy, um, he's a student of Lasso, has mm -hmm. been arrested. He, I mean, I'm so happy. But I think the police should not stop at that arrest. They should arrest the mother. And I will why say why. Yes, mother? because it's not like the mother is not aware this is happening. The mother say, oh, Lasso, they they play. Mm -hmm. I want to call, is it ignorance or what, what exactly is it? Your step Ignorance sister, is not an excuse. It's not an excuse. No excuse. You remember what, what Lamy was saying yesterday about issues like this? Exactly. At some point, in reasonable claims, they take the child mm -hmm. off even the, the biological, the biological parent. The yes. Child. You know, for the mother to have seen this happen and not do, and anything. Not do anything. You know why I say they should arrest the mother? The, the story I, I narrated mm -hmm. earlier, this um, when I said the lady that her six-year-old daughter was had um, the husband was having um, an a, a sex with a six year old violating yeah. the six year old daughter at the same time at the same time had, with her you know with her she was aware she <laughs> was aware it's not like she she didn't know she said hey, but there was nothing she could do that's not so now the excuse. reason guess what now the reason she's even coming out to talk about it was because he has kicked both of them out, out of, of the, the house. house so if he did not so kick like you out of the house helpless situation no, that's why if, she had to speak if up. he did not kick you out of the house you're okay she, don't because you I hear think... this young man. He's giving money to the mm. to the mom or something. I don't know what the story is, but whatever it is, I'm so happy that the police have arrested him. But they should arrest the mother. Let her spend some time in jail to mm. to understand that these things are serious because this is how it grows on us, and you we know, take it as normal. There thing. should be a law, not somebody just coming out and saying, "Oh, there is a law and it was not um, enacted or it wasn't yeah. um, implemented. implemented." There should be a law guarding young girls, young boys that have been uh, taken advantage of in every ramification because this must stop. It's it has for, to it's stop. It's not for lack of laws that these things... Um, I think we have laws. We have it laws. has to be implemented. <laughs> That's what I the just said. It should be implemented. To, to what the law says. Yeah, that, that's because the challenge it, parents facing. are looking for money, parents are running around trying to do one or two things based on the economy we found ourselves, and they can't have eagle eyes back at home at the same I mean, time I mean, watching their children. You know, you know, what is even really tiring for me, I, I, I would have loved to, to ask yesterday was, mm. you know the funny thing about, um, I, um, I, I, I forgot to mention Bukola, um, Busola Dakolo. Okay. You know, she celebrated one year, posted it. After and she, yes, I saw it as well. What it is. Now they have said that um, she was happy about the awareness. Has, some, has exactly. a question to answer in court. Mm -hmm. Well, I now looked at it, I said, Sansi, if it's somebody that is poor, a mm. papa, you don't have anything, would you be able to wait for one whole year? Yeah. Do you understand? Like this, our, our system, our criminal justice system, mm -hmm. they should be able to expedite certain kinds of, I don't know, uh, maybe it's just me talking from it's an emotional not point just because lawyers you. will tell you it's, it's not, not about just emotions it's about facts and all of that I, I honestly, even if the I, facts I are presented they will still take yeah, their time it's too much time I don't think it's because of and rape particularly I think it's a general syndrome so, yeah. Yeah. do we have a forensics um, we do. area we do, we we do. do. Yes. and we do. Do they, are they actually active trust me if a policeman yeah, that, wants to catch a criminal <laughs> they will catch that criminal. <laughs> I can tell you that for free. When it's beneficial to them, ah, they not will catch to those the populace or the citizens. All right, so I think that's all we can take ah. in what's in the news. So mm. Motirayo Adepamuti will join mm -hmm. us right after the break to discuss running mm. a profitable business. Stay with us.